This is how to fix a dead graphics card. And this is Radeon 7, which is dead. So today we're gonna talk about how to fix it. Starting with Windows drivers, ending with freezing it. We're talking troubleshooting, we're talking software fixes, and yes, Texas, we're talking freezer. But wait, there is more. PCB breakdown, multimeter poking, heat gun application, and everything else you need to know if your computer stops showing the picture. But before that, we have to tell you something. Apparently, 100% of you watching this video are not subscribed. Simple fixes. Artifacts or instability on a stalled driver, a stalled fresh one. This also means that the card could be going bad, so just underclock both core and memory. In MSI Afterburner, just move the slider a little bit to the left and install the latest chipset drivers, either Intel or AMD. My texters, leave a comment on what else could it be for non sops. Click and subscribe, it's free. Hardware issues, <clears throat> no signal. Check HDMI cables, have another one handy, it happened to me twice. Some motherboards have a debug LED either in form of postcode numbers, look for motherboard manual to decode or a list like on this board. If PC gets stuck on anything but VGA, then this is not. Open the computer case, check if the card seated well, replace power supply cables or put them in a different slot on the unit. Try the card in a different slot on the motherboard, still doesn't pose, let's go crazy up on you! Install two GPUs. Start the Windows, see if the card is recognized in Device Manager. While in Windows, there is a chance of fixing it by flashing or reflashing the V bias. First, validate the bias is recognized in GPU Z. If it's not recognized, keep watching. On Tech Power Up, find your card, download the bias, as well as AMD VB Flash, aka ATI Flash, or NVIDIA NV Flash. Signal, congrats. No signal, let's proceed to the next step. Let me know if you need instructions on how to use the software. Remove the cooler. Check for physical damage or burn-in spots. If you find one, you know where the problem is. Then install the card into the slot. Start a computer, put your hand like this. If it doesn't heat up, touch the components around it. Find the spot that heats up real good. If it does heat up, like in this case, just shut the computer. Don't let the card sit without the cooler for more than 30 seconds. Board eight, what's that word? Radeon 7 board analysis. Everything you see on this board is a power dealer. In one way or another, all these components right here exist to convert 12 volts coming from PSU and 12 volts and 3.3 volts coming from PCI Express to whatever GPU needs. In charge of converting one voltage level to another are MOSFETs. We'll learn about MOSFETs in this motherboard video. In case of Radeon 7, these guys, these are smart power stages. They include low side and high side, as well as the driver, all in one package. If it's confusing, don't worry, I'll show you what to look for. So these are speed caps. These are measuring points for today's video. On GTX 1660, jokes have legs sticking out right here. So these are measuring points for these type of cards. Multimeter poking. Put the card together, have a black back plate open. For purposes of this video, I'm just gonna stick a small radiator with a thermal tape on it. Take out the multimeter, set it to voltage. One probe to the ground, another one is the poking one. I added a needle for precision. Start your computer. Power, vCore, vMAM, PLL. PLL tells core and memory it's okay to be a friend. If you don't have vCore and or memory voltage, then you measure PCI Express voltage, all the voltages on all the chokes. Again, vCore, memory, PLL. If something is missing, you know where the problem is. Check the fuses. Set multimeter to beep mode. If it doesn't beep, it means the fuse went out and most likely something else with it. I'm not going too deep with the board topology. If you want me to read a data sheet for components in the future, leave a comment and share this video with the world. The worst case in, in, in what? But now the final step. Once we establish all the power to the system is okay. Time to repair the die. All the graphics cards these days are flip chip. 
All it means, they break. In case of Radeon 7, the chip has HBM memory. So HBM memory and the core sit on one layer. Now this layer needs to be connected to a bigger, and now this die needs to be connected to the board. And in order to connect the die to the board, you have to use solder balls. From heat cycles, hot to cold, cold to hot, these balls underneath the chip crack. And the pins between layers lose connection. Back in the day, you could just press on the chip to get it working again. Make it super duper cold. Ew, my toes. To get connection established once again, we need to freeze the board real good. Test it, then we need to heat it up real good. Test it. Remove the cooler, put the cart on the foil and freeze it for 30 minutes. Remove all the ice with the blow dryer or a heat gun, clean it with alcohol. Test it. If it doesn't work, we need to heat it up real good. For the love of Fortnite spirit, do not put it in the oven. There is a reason why we are poking the board for two hours. We need to heat up the die, not the HDMI connector. So stop the madness. Reflowing the chip. We're gonna reflow the chip with a heat gun. Lift the board from the table with something metal based. Make sure it's leveled. Mask all the components around the chip with the captain tape and the foil. Stick temperature probes on the edge of the packaging and right down in the middle. Use cheap heat gun in rotational manner, warming up the chip. It takes about five minutes, but you should be getting close to 237C. Keep it around 235, 240C for 30 seconds. Let the chip cool to the room temperature. If still no signal, the chip needs to be reballed. Those little balls I talked about underneath the chip need to be replaced. It takes many hours to do, so if you want me to reball this GPU, I need 1069 likes. Nice. Seriously, I'm not gonna do it if you don't hit the like. All the stuff we use for this video I have affiliate link in the description. Love you, texters.